Well, for weeks now, football watchers have been saying that uh, North Adelaide's run will come to an end. But each week, the top of the ladder roosters have proved the critics wrong, bringing up a record 10 wins straight going into today's match. Well, today the critics were at it again. Third-placed West Torrens, they said, would do the trick. And again, those critics were left with egg on their faces, as the Roosters led all day and they ended up bringing up 11 wins straight. Well, here's some action from halfway through the third quarter. Our commentators at the match, John Robinson and Dennis Airy. Body power, the legs steady, beautifully done, goal! And North Adelaide seemed to have all the answers. His second at the 15-minute mark, 16-9, Torrance 7 8 a lot of hard work going on there, uh, bodies going in left, right and centre, but North managed to be the ones getting the first touch to the ball, pushing it forward, it finally came clear to Robertson, and he's got plenty of pace, he got around a couple of players there, as well shepherded, lined up steady, did everything right and kicked straight through the middle, and uh, well the West Torrens camp there, Elliot and Pavlik, a bit worried. Saru put the foot out, has been penalised, and the free kick to big passes. It's a half forward. That's Bennett direction. Oh, plenty of strength. Both Lindsay and Saru used the bodies against him. They fell to the wayside and Bennett took a good strong mark and gee, he is an effective centre half forward. 45 metres from goal. The kick is long. And the mark is taken by North Adelaide in the pack. That's McRedden. We've mentioned previously the value of these two big guys, Parsons and Redden. When they rest up forward, they have the ability to take these grabs and add to the North Adelaide tally. That's the first goal to Redden, and North Adelaide looking good. 17 goals, 9. West Torrens, 7 goals, 8. Yes, the big fellas across that line in Dietrich, Redden, Parsons, and the scraps that come off the hands from these big fellas are eagerly swooped on by Darrell Hart and uh, Antrobus, but the ball's coming in nicely to them. Always long. Antipas drove the ball long, the big fellows there, the old bucket hands quickly full back, almost error free. Same as Stephen Riley. Has Tiller there, uses him. He'll go straight down the line. Hay, Parsons there, one hand, can't do it. Stretch can, the crumbs. Back to where it came from. The odd two to one. Almost the mark, not paid, yes, says umpire Falk. And the halfback flank has done a good job today. Stephen Riley, short to brother John. Centre wing grandstand side, leaders on from Bennett. He'll have the jump, he's in front of Lindsay. Lindsay effectively spoils. Geyer, foot had the chance, but he was thrown to the ground without the ball. We'll take the free kick at centre half back. West Torrens need to get things happening. Stretch in front, misjudged it. Sanders missed it also, a big pile-up of players and a bounce down centre wing grandstand side. Hit John Saunders like a big pie and I think that uh, he's got a bit of a problem there too with either cramp or a twist. But John Cunningham now against Parsons. Parsons tried the steal, that wouldn't work. Little Meehan back to his Ruckman, so Rover to Ruckman's unusual. And foot. Dylan not offering any support. Armfield offers opposition, so does Hill. And both of those players had a great game. Hill looks as if he's taken some youth pills. He's had uh, tons of energy today. He's run a mile. Bennett. Lindsay. Bigger. Persistence. One in. Bruce Lindsay are holding the ball. Bruce Lindsay's got a uh, hard task there on Peter Bennett today. He's, he's been playing well down there. Yes, conceding height and uh, he's really had to jump hard against uh, Bennett all day. Roberts, mistake for the hand. In goes Hay, down he goes. A new player that's arrived on the scene. Carrying a new jumper, uh, it's 31, and we'll pick him up as Hay goes along with a nice looking drop punt. Here's Bennett and Lindsay. Roundhouse right by Lindsay, puts it uh, towards the line. Pays, had an excellent game so far today. Stretch, has to be quick. Running the wrong way, Roberts. Running the right way, Parsons. A nice judgment by the big fella on the half-back line. 15-metre penalty. 31 for North Adelaide. Peter Simmons has come onto the ground. 
Bennett, no doubt the target for this Parsons kick. He's under it. Lindsay's behind again. Spoils effectively. Meehan. Good handball to stretch. To his half forward line. Dillon didn't reach him. Hay cut it out. And there was four North Adelaide players there against Kim Dillon. What chance did he have? Short to John Riley. No doubt Bennett the target once again. But the balls are coming in high. He's got the break on Lindsay again. And this time he takes it. Lindsay couldn't get close enough to spoil. Dietrich bolts out a full forward. The kick's in that direction. He's in front of Grabak. And he's taken it. Well, that was an amazing mark. Plenty of strength there. The big, strong body held Grabak away. He had a punch at the ball, but couldn't reach it. Mike Noonan probably happy about that one, but as Dietrich with strength has taken a great mark. He's kicked seven goals. Four of those come in a great second quarter. 35 metres from goal. The familiar drop punt kick. Just to the right of the big upright, so a uh, bit of a blot on the copybook there. But seven goals, not a bad effort. Yes, two of those marks like that he took in the uh, first term, and uh, he's been good all day in that area. Saru, Dietrich unloading unceremoniously, and Tongra back, and the quick kick forward by Hart, front spot almost bent it again, not paid. Dylan Lindsay, Grabak. Wide. No one in particular. Taylor, like a greyhound, charging at it. Couldn't get there. And it's out of bounds on the full. Kick in. Awkward looking kicking style. Drop punt. Almost Bennett again. This time, no, it's Parsons. Or is it Bennett? Bennett it is. He's really lifted his game at half forward. Where's the big fella? front spot was red at the back Dietrich the crumbs tiller almost did it beautifully Robertson a chip shot looked like a nine iron and just chipped away brilliant stuff he's got goal three and goals coming like raindrops at the moment 18 10 Torren 7 8 well North Adelaide once again it doesn't matter where that ball is they've got players numbers running numbers at the ball and that quick kick came in uh, the ball came off hands tiller swooped on it his way to goal was blocked. He turned back. He had a player moving through quickly in David Robertson. Couldn't handle the ball well, but the momentum kept it in front of him, snapped it up, and his third goal. Chance for North again. His heart. Plenty of pressure by Taylor and Cunningham. Campbell smothered. Colsey, well done to Cunningham. Nicely tackled. Johnston, back to Colsey, and G. Torrance having to work hard for everything out there against the... Well, an undaunting North Adelaide side. The attack on the body and the ball is tremendous. And they finally do work it clear. Great work. And clear it is to Campbell. He has a player short. The kick's in that direction. It's Antrobus. Wide out on the boundary line. Heads toward goal. The kick. Across the face. And one behind only. But once again, the running power of North Adelaide. North Adelaide making football look so simple as they have done right throughout the season. And as I mentioned, now 11 matches played, 11 wins for North Adelaide. Well, it was North's match from the outset today. Five goals, then eight, then six, and another six in the last quarter in a most impressive all-the-way brush aside of West Torrens. The two stars for North, Dietrich with eight goals, and Tony Antrobus, who kicked seven and was rated best of field. For Torrens, John Roberts kicked five goals, and Johnston and Pays three goals each, and footy punt, a dividend there of $13.70.